Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, I'm going to be reacting to ASU student hot takes on dating and feminism. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hey guys, it's Riley Gaines. We are on Arizona State University's campus and we are asking the questions that you guys want to know. How long should you date before getting married? I think it's all about like time, how much you spend with that person. Like if I'm seeing her like every day, I think maybe like a year. But if we're not hanging out every day, it's like different, maybe like a couple times a week, maybe a couple years. A year at least. I would say two, three. When you're like living together. Probably like two years. A couple years. I feel like that depends on like the relationship. At least like two years. I agree. Two years. Maybe like five years. Wow. Minimum four years. I feel like five's a good answer. I'd say five. Is it hard to be a woman in America? I'd say yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. I think it's hard to be a person, period. <laughs> I feel that. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I think sometimes. But like comparatively to other countries, I guess not. But like, in my opinion, yeah. Can I ask you to expand? Like women's rights and stuff, I guess. That kind of stuff. Depends on your situation, race, like economic background and all that. Not specifically in America, but all over the world. Like we're just so like unsafe, I guess. Like I always feel scared to walk alone at night if I don't have a friend with me and just like a situation like that. I think it's hard just because, you know, there's also intersectionality that's like a big issue in, in the workforce. So, I mean, that makes it even worse. So, yeah, it's pretty hard. Societal like, norms, pretty much. I feel like women are pressured to do a lot. Also can't do anything right. Like you wear something and like, like you don't show enough skin and then like you're just like too innocent. But if you show too much, then you're a whore. Like, you know, I just think there's like a lot of like stereotypes and a lot of just like, I don't know, there's a lot of troubles that we have to go through that like men I don't think have to go through. I feel like we're like really stereotyped. I think like the pink tax is a big problem and also like just that we make less money to every dollar that a man makes because we make 75 cents to every dollar that a man makes. Would you rather date a liberal or a conservative man slash woman? That's crazy. Y'all said it wasn't political. You've got a Bass Pro hat on. Someone in the middle. A liberal. Just like coming like from my belief system, I'd preferably like be with someone who kind of has the same beliefs. I don't like discriminate against conservatives either. I'm not a liberal, but like I'm a leftist. So like I wouldn't just say if you're conservative, I wouldn't date you. But I mean, there's things to discuss and I would like to have a conversation. Conserve? No, no, no. What are you dating right now though? Oh, sh <laughs> uh, not liberal, liberal. Liberal. I don't really care. I don't know. Liberal. Mm, liberal. Liberal. I don't know. I'd say liberal. Thanks guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment. Guys, I would say this was fucked up. A lot of things were said and I do not agree with a lot of things that were said, but like, don't wait to think about this. Now nah, I'm not I'm not commenting on this. Don't wait to think about this. Leave your comments and your answers in the comment section, guys. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.